Mola Lighty, Wikipedia article audio. Mola Lighty, also called molal concentration, is a measure of the concentration of a solute in a solution in terms of amount of substance in a specified amount of mass of the solvent. This contrasts with the definition of molarity which is based on a specified volume of solution. Definition Origin Unit Usage considerations Relation to other compositional properties Mass fraction Mole fraction Molar concentration Mass concentration Equal ratios Example of conversion Osmolality Relation to apparent properties Relation to apparent molar properties and activity coefficients A commonly used unit for molality in chemistry is mole-kg. A solution of concentration 1 mole-kg is also sometimes denoted as 1 molo. The molality of a solution is defined as the amount of substance of solute, N solute, divided by the mass of the solvent, M solvent. In the cases of solutions with more than one solvent, molality can be defined for the mixed solvent considered as a pure pseudo solvent. Instead of mole solute per kilogram solvent as in the binary case, units are defined as mole solute per kilogram mixed solvent. The term molality is formed in analogy to molarity which is the molar concentration of a solution. The earliest known use of the intensive property molality and of its adjectival unit, the now deprecated molal, appears to have been published by G. N. Lewis and M. Randall in the 1923 publication of Thermodynamics and the Free Energies of Chemical Substances. Though the two terms are subject to being confused with one another, the molality and molarity of a weak aqueous solution are nearly the same, as one kilogram of water occupies the volume of one liter at room temperature and a small amount of solute has little effect on the volume. The SI unit for molality is moles per kilogram. A solution with a molality of 3 moles kg is often described as 3 molal or 3 m. However, following the SI system of units, the National Institute of Standards and Technology, the United States Authority on Measurement, considers the term molal and the unit symbol m to be obsolete, and suggests mol kg or a related unit of the SI. This recommendation has not been universally implemented in academia yet. The primary advantage of using molality as a measure of concentration is that molality only depends on the masses of solute and solvent, which are unaffected by variations in temperature and pressure. In contrast, solutions prepared volumetrically are likely to change as temperature and pressure change. In many applications, this is a significant advantage because the mass, or the amount, of a substance is often more important than its volume. Another advantage of molality is the fact that the molality of one solute in a solution is independent of the presence or absence of other solutes. Unlike all the other compositional properties listed in relation section, Molality depends on the choice of the substance to be called solvent in an arbitrary mixture. If there is only one pure liquid substance in a mixture, the choice is clear, but not all solutions are this clear cut. In an alcohol water solution, either one could be called the solvent, in an alloy, or solid solution, there is no clear choice and all constituents may be treated alike. In such situations, mass or mole fraction is the preferred compositional specification. In what follows, the solvent may be given the same treatment as the other constituents of the solution, 
such that the molality of the solvent of an N-solute solution, say B0, is found to be nothing more than the reciprocal of its molar mass, M0. The conversions to and from the mass fraction, W, of the solute in a single solute solution are where B is the molality and M is the molar mass of the solute. More generally, for an N solute slash one solvent solution, letting B I and W I B, respectively, the molality and mass fraction of the ITH solute. Where MI is the molar mass of the ITH solute, and W0 is the mass fraction of the solvent, which is expressible both as a function of the molalities as well as a function of the other mass fractions. The conversions to and from the mole fraction, X, of the solute in a single solute solution are where M0 is the molar mass of the solvent. More generally, for an N solute slash one solvent solution, letting Xi be the mole fraction of the ITH solute. Where X0 is the mole fraction of the solvent, expressible both as a function of the molalities as well as a function of the other mole fractions. The conversions to and from the molar concentration, C, for one solute solutions are where rho is the mass density of the solution, B is the molality, and M is the molar mass of the solute. For solutions with N solutes, the conversions are where the molar concentration of the solvent C0 is expressible both as a function of the molalities as well as a function of the molarities. The conversions to and from the mass concentration, rho solute, of a single solute solution are where rho is the mass density of the solution, B is the molality, and M is the molar mass of the solute. For the general N solute solution, the mass concentration of the ITH solute, rho I, is related to its molality, B I, as follows. Where the mass concentration of the solvent, rho zero, is expressible both as a function of the molalities as well as a function of the mass concentrations. Alternatively, we may use just the last two equations given for the compositional property of the solvent in each of the preceding sections, together with the relationships given below, to derive the remainder of properties in that set. Where I and J are subscripts representing all the constituents, the N solutes plus the solvent. An acid mixture consists of 0.76-0.04-0.20 mass fractions of 70% HNO3-49% HF-H2O, where the percentages refer to mass fractions of the bottled acids carrying a balance of H2O. The first step is determining the mass fractions of the constituents. The approximate molar masses in kg slash mole are First derive the molality of the solvent, in mole slash kg. And use that to derive all the others by use of the equal ratios. Actually, BH2O cancels out, because it is not needed. In this case, there is a more direct equation, we use it to derive the molality of HF. The mole fractions may be derived from this result. Osmolality is a variation of molality that takes into account only solutes that contribute to a solution's osmotic pressure. It is measured in osmoles of the solute per kilogram of water. This unit is frequently used in medical laboratory results in place of osmolarity, because it can be measured simply by depression of the freezing point of a solution, or cryoscopy. Molality appears in the expression of the apparent volume of a solute as a function of the molality B of that solute. For multi-component systems the relation is slightly modified by the sum of molalities of solutes. 
for multi-component systems with more than one solute a total molality and mean apparent molar volume can be defined for the solutes together and also a mean molar mass of the solutes as if they were a single solute. In this case the first equality from above is modified with the mean molar mass m of the pseudo-solute instead of the molar mass of the single solute. For concentrated ionic solutions the activity coefficient of the electrolyte is split into electric and statistical components. The statistical part includes molality B, hydration index number H, the number of ions from the dissociation and the ratio Ra between the apparent molar volume of the electrolyte and the molar volume of water. Concentrated solution statistical part of the activity coefficient is, ln, gamma, s, equals, h, nu, nu, ln, 1, plus, b, r, a, 55.5, h, nu, ln, 1, b, r, a, 55.5, plus, b, R, A, R, A, plus, H, new, 55.5, 1, plus, B, R, A, 55.5, equals backslash ln backslash ln plus.